Hello and welcome to another teaching from 119 Ministries. Our ministry believes that the whole Bible is true and directly applicable to our lives today. If you would like to know more about what we believe and teach, please visit us at testeverything.net. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel by hitting the button down below. We hope you enjoy studying and testing the following teaching. Honoring one's elders is a fundamental value in the lives of those who follow the God of Israel. The Torah expresses this value in Leviticus 19.32. Leviticus 19.32 You shall stand up before the gray head and honor the face of an old man, and you shall fear your God, I am Yahweh. The word translated gray head in this verse is seva, which means gray hair or old age. This meaning is reinforced by the term old man, which is used in the second part of this verse. Old man is translated from the Hebrew zakhain, which means aged. The word zakhain also carries the sense of elder, as in a community leader or judge, and is used in that sense more than a hundred times in the Hebrew scriptures. This seems right, seeing that the elderly in the community often were the elders of the community. The sense of the word in Leviticus 19.32 is not exclusive to community leaders, but includes any elderly person. It also is not exclusive to elderly men. Jacob Milgram points out that zakhain is sometimes a collective for men and women. The rabbinic bias that this injunction is limited to men may not be the sense of Scripture. Note that Zakane is a collective for men and women in Joshua 6.21, Jeremiah 51.22, Ezekiel 9.6, and elsewhere. That Zakane includes elderly women makes sense in light of the literary structure of Leviticus 19. The command to honor the elderly is modeled after the earlier command in verse 3 to revere one's parents, both mother and father. Milgram writes, Verses 30 through 32 not only use the same vocabulary as verses 3 through 4, but also reveal how the one commandment to revere the parents is extended to the commandment to respect all elders. Zakain, old age, is also connected to having wisdom. The Bible consistently upholds wisdom as a desirable attribute to be pursued. This verse has two commands which both express the same idea. The first command is to stand up before the gray head. This could be translated literally as, in the presence of the elderly, you shall rise. Standing up in someone's presence was a sign of honor in the ancient world, which plays into the second part of the commandment to honor the elderly. Standing in the presence of the elderly and thereby expressing honor toward them was a way to acknowledge their wisdom, as J. Sklar explains. Such respect for the elderly was a way to acknowledge the wisdom and experience that comes with years. Moreover, it was a way of showing respect for authority, since the elderly would often be one's parents or parental figures in the community. These commandments also have a humanitarian aspect. Sklar continues, Such respect was also a natural impulse of those showing the Lord's love to the disadvantaged, for we slow and weaken as we age and are in greater need of patient care and compassion. In this verse, you'll notice that honoring the elderly is directly tied to honoring Yahweh, quote, and you shall fear your God. If we revere Yahweh, we will honor our elders. That's a lot of information packed into this one verse, so to summarize, the Torah commands us to stand in the presence of and honor the elderly. The elderly is a broad designation and not exclusive to community leaders. It includes any elderly person. Biblically, old age is connected to having wisdom. Honoring the elderly is directly tied to honoring Yahweh. 
And there is also a humanitarian aspect to the command to honor the elderly. Treating our elders with honor and respect and acknowledging them as sources of wisdom is a big deal in the Bible. The New Testament repeatedly stresses this Torah principle, as the Apostle Peter admonishes us. 1 Peter 5.5 5, Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another, for God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Paul writes in 1 Timothy 5, 1 through 2, Do not rebuke an older man, but encourage him as you would a father, younger men as brothers, older women as mothers, younger women as sisters, in all purity. The prophets describe the failure of young people to honor their elders and how this characterizes an unstable society on the brink of social collapse. Isaiah 3, 1 through 5, for behold, the Lord Yahweh of hosts is taking away from Jerusalem and from Judah support and supply, all support of bread and all support of water. The mighty man and the soldier, the judge and the prophet, the diviner and the elder, the captain of fifty and the man of rank, the counselor and the skillful magician, and the expert in charms. And I will make boys their princes, and infants shall rule over them. And the people will oppress one another, every one his fellow, and every one his neighbor. The youth will be insolent to the elder, and the despised to the honorable. As believers, these passages ought to prompt us to ask the question, is our treatment of the elderly biblical? Do we acknowledge the wisdom that comes with age? Do we go out of our way to show honor and respect toward our elders? Sadly, it seems that old age is not something that calls for honor and respect in our culture. The elderly are seen as out of touch and ignorant. OK Boomer is a popular catchphrase that the current generation says to dismiss and mock our elders, those from the baby boom generation. When we use phrases like OK Boomer, we are expressing the sentiment that boomers just don't get it. They are jokes and have nothing to offer us. We've reduced an entire generation to a meme. As a culture, we've largely lost sight of the value of honoring our elders. Not only does this display a lack of love toward our elderly neighbors, causing them to feel insecure and worthless as they grow old, but it also does a massive disservice to the youth. We are deprived of the wisdom and direction of our elders. We are left to learn everything in life the hard way or not at all. We must get back to this Torah principle of honoring the elderly. So how can we apply this principle? What does that look like in our time and culture? Well, the Hebrew word for honor in Leviticus 19.32 is hadar, which simply means to show respect or to prefer. In short, we honor the elderly by respecting them and generally regarding them as better sources of wisdom than people our age or younger, preferring them. Many might wonder how literally we should take the commandment to stand in the presence of the elderly. In the ancient world, this was a customary sign of respect. It's customary in our own culture to do this in some situations as well. For instance, we rise before a judge during a court hearing. This is a way to express honor toward the judge. In America, we customarily rise during the national anthem. This is a sign of respect and honor for our country and those who fought and died to preserve our liberties. Some wealthy professional athletes have recently chosen to kneel during the national anthem as a deliberate sign of disrespect. Why? Because they believe our country is not worthy of honor for whatever reason. The point here, is that standing is still customarily a sign of honor in some instances, even in our own time and culture. There may be times when literally standing in our elders' presence makes sense in our time and culture today as well, and we should do it. But this doesn't mean we just ritualistically stand every time we see an elderly person. For instance, you wouldn't stand up in the middle of a restaurant when an elderly person you don't know gets seated at the table next to you. Doing that would probably make them feel awkward rather than honored. Remember, the intent of Leviticus 19.32 is to express honor for the elderly. That might mean standing in their presence in some situations when doing so would express honor toward them. It also might mean not just standing, but making it a point to walk up to the elderly person and warmly greet them as they enter the room. 
Maybe invite them to take your seat in a gathering. The point is to do something to show the elderly person honor. Train your brain to acknowledge their presence and go out of your way to honor them. Glean from their wisdom and experience. Once again, by honoring our elders, we are honoring God. This is something we as believers need to take seriously. Disregarding our elders is one of the marks of an unstable and ungodly society. If we want a healthy society that benefits from the wisdom gained through years of experience, we do well to honor our elders. We pray you've been blessed by this teaching, and remember, continue to test everything. Shalom. It is because of you, our generous supporters, who make it possible to offer these high-quality teachings completely free of charge. If you feel led to support 119 Ministries so that we can continue this effort, please visit testeverything.net and click on the Support 119 tab. Learn how you can partner with us to take the whole Word of God to the nations.